Hello, hello, my lovely angels. This is your girl Sim back with another episode of The Sim Squad. Hi! So, today we are doing five new perfumes that I've hauled. Again, there are some Khadlaj perfumes over here that were sent to me, and they're from their brand new collection called Lee Prestige. One of them is let me start with uh, something which everybody was asking for. This is Latafa's Vintage Radio. Now, I know, I know, everybody was like, uh, okay, this is the dupe for Paragon by uh, Initio. And then I have the other one as well from Latafa, I forgot the name. There's so many new releases that like my brain now is like, you know, it's this guy. It's uh, Nashama, Al Nashama by Latafa. So this is also a dupe for Paragon and this is also a dupe for Paragon. So now I want to see like what's the difference between the two and like let you know which one is better according to me. And uh, let's see. Now these had come with my sister from US. So all the prices I have is from US. And one of you was kind enough to let me know that my links are not working. And that's very weird why it's not working. But I tested it and yeah, it's not working. So I'm going to like try and figure out why when I'm posting links, it's not really working for you guys. So vintage radio is like, it opens like a lighter. And then of course it has those bottles. Honestly, these bottles, I'm not very fond of these bottles. They look very uh, tacky, gimmicky, not gimmicky, but like it'll, they look a little tacky. Uh, this one is like 3D, which is like good. Uh, but otherwise like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really impressed by the bottles. And this being from their uh, Latafa's Pride collection, this is their second uh, pride collection part two right so it was released everywhere else in the world except for ua <laughs> and i actually ordered it from us and now it's available in the ua but i'm happy i ordered it from us because it was cheaper over there here it's slightly more pricey now see immediately when i spray this i know i've smelled this before i mean i know initios paragon is like a unique fragrance but i don't know like even that like it feels like something that you've smelled before I can tell you one thing immediately from this one. This is a little fresher than Al Nashama and this does not have that milky thing that I was feeling from Nashama. And a lot of y'all told me to um, test it after some time and let it sit because they were not getting the milkiness from it, the lactonic note. So let's say the vintage radio is this side and Al Nashama is this side. Let's see if it is in fact like Okay, yeah, oh my god, they're so similar. Now, if I had to choose between the two, it's nearly impossible to choose between the two. But, but, just because the vintage radio, it just feels slightly more spicy than this one. And this one has that sweetness, that electronic sweetness that I'm talking about. It's not really prominent. Vintage radio, it's just slightly more fresher and spicier as compared to the... Al Nashama, which smells a little more sweet, a little bit more milky. Also, uh, Nashama has a little bit of soapiness about it, which I don't like. It dries down to this soapy note, which I did not appreciate. As a matter of fact, recently I wore it to sleep. I was like, okay, I think because it has that slightly electronic soapy note, after shower I wore it and everything. It smelled nice, but it has this uh, very cheap detergent kind of scent in the background. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't get it. Now, please do not mistake in my opinion for a general opinion of how this perfume smells like because again, perfumes are really subjective. I can't believe I keep mentioning this in every video of mine, but it's going to smell different to everybody because you're sensitive to some notes. I'm really sensitive to soapy notes, really sensitive to lactonic notes, you know. So this one, in comparison, I feel uh, lasts a little lesser and also it has this soapiness and this uh, lactonic quality in it. Vintage Radio, on the other hand, does not have that uh, detergent quality at all in it. And the milkiness also is like not there, in my opinion. I can't smell it. And it's just slightly more spicy. So I do prefer the Vintage Radio compared to uh, Al Nashama. Now, Vintage Radio is classified as an amber woody fragrance. And on Fragrantica, it's got 4.57, which is like a lot. And of course, it's compared to Initio's Paragon. The top notes for this are lavender, sage and bergamot, middle notes of plum, palo santo and black pepper and the base notes of sandalwood and amberwood. This, yeah, it does have like lavender, sage, bergamot and everything, but it's not so aromatic that it becomes a little irritating. And if you know, you know, uh, sometimes these very, very strong aromatic notes, they can 
become a bit more masculine it can get a little bit more like something you wouldn't want to wear as a perfume but that's not the case in here it's very mildly there Palo Santo is also a kind of scent that if you don't blend it well it might like go south real soon because you do feel uh, the overwhelmingness of Palo Santo. A good example is the Palo Santo one by Keali. It's really overpowering that scent, you know, the burning cherry. Uh, this on the other hand, I think it's like done pretty well. Uh, you don't have any of these notes sticking out except for I might say the lavender, sandalwood and amberwood. These are the ones that are really there from the beginning till the end. It smells like a very nice mild woody fragrance with some aromatic nuances here and there. It's a very simple perfume. It smells very nice and comforting. The plum feels not, not like a fresh plum, it smells like a, a dried fruit kind of plum. It doesn't, this perfume overall smells dry. It doesn't smell juicy or boozy or um, fresh or anything, you know. When I say fresh, I mean like citrus fresh, although bergamot is like there as a note like prominently, but it's like right there on the top note, but I can't really like smell like citruses and everything. I like this perfume quite a bit compared to Nashama, but just because it doesn't have that detergenty feel, doesn't have that like tonic kind of feel, which again I'm mentioning, you might not get it. I get it very, very strongly in Al Nashama. That's also macerating and I'm going to of course try it like in around six months or so. See what I mean? It's like my phone is like just going off today. <laughs> it's like a very, very soft wood. Very, very soft wood. The spices are there but in a very, very mild way. And then the lavender is like very, very soothing. You know, it just feels like a very comforting, soothing scent. So you know what? It's so weird that although side by side, if I smell them, just like that you know they smell very similar but if i go deep into it like i really take a long sniff and you know of course like potency of the vintage radio is much is much stronger to, compared to nashama nashama just feels a little bit more mellow compared to an already very mellow vintage radio now a lot of people do say that this smells very um potent and everything like i don't feel so i think it's a very very mellow and i think it's perfectly suitable to wear it like any weather and any time of the day but I would prefer wearing this in an office situation or like a very casual setting where it's like you want to wear like a perfume that smells really good where people would notice that the perfume is smelling good but it will not be offensive or it'll be too like sticking out like compared to everybody else so yeah I do appreciate this fragrance I would give this a 9 out of 10 I like it and I know I'm gonna be reaching for it. I know I will finish it, but I'm not gonna buy this perfume again for sure. This is like, okay, I tried it, used it, and I'm gonna be done with it. But still, nine in my books is like a very, very good score. Middle Eastern vibe check is like zero. The projection I would say is like two feet. It's very intimate. I do not believe that this is a beast mode fragrance. Uh, although some people do feel like that now maybe it'll macerate and again see again these are fragrances middle eastern fragrances like every six months they will feel different to you sometimes maybe not if it's like very well macerated and everything already it was matured and everything it'll not like change but like most of the time latafas they change massively drastically like in six months they will smell very very different so i'm gonna let you know what i feel about this the longevity also i feel it's like six hours and so pushing it to seven hours is like you can still get away with it but it's a very intimate scent so you will not really be like projecting like crazy but you'll smell it on yourself and maybe others will get whiffs of you and although like this fragrance i feel can be worn by both men and women like i do feel like a man who's like you know who came to my mind the uh, i think his name is christensen hayden um who played uh anakin skywalker he came to mind, you know, it does smell very nice and everything, but that his character as uh, Anakin Skywalker, like I would feel like he would smell like this, like it's a little aromatic, it's very calm, soothing, of course, before he turned to Darth Vader, so, you know, <laughs> uh, okay, weird comparison, but yeah, that's what it smells like to me. Next up is another Latafa, again from their Pride 2 collection, this is the Raw Human. Now, this one, <laughs> when I initially smelled it, it was awful like for me this was like gosh why did i buy this i spent so much money on it uh, actually i did not this was i think the cheapest one amongst the, all the perfumes i bought this was for 38 dollars and by the way the um, british radio was for let me see the price 48 dollars so this was a comparatively 10 dollars cheaper and <clears throat> sorry i think i had it was already on discount or something opens the same way the bottle is nearly the same it's just taller compared to the vintage radio there you go yeah and it has this very ugly thingy on it it's a face which is like slightly metallic and 
I don't know. I just found like the whole packaging to be like. Okay, the name raw human, maybe it's a little animalic. That's why they named it that. But then they put a picture of a girl. So I was like, whoa, what? Yeah, this is a masculine fragrance in my opinion. I'm sure it's there on Fragrantica. Like when I made my notes, it was not. Let me check. Yeah, no, it's still not there on Fragrantica. So I suppose it's not all that popular either. The top notes for this are apricot, plum and pink pepper. Middle notes of osmanthus and the base notes of leather, olibanum, styrax and fair balsa. It smells like a resinous leather. But the prominent note over here is leather. Like honestly, it's just feeling to me like a sheet of suede and combined with some um you know those room fragrances you have in showrooms and stuff but then it's a leather shop so they kept that just there to like you know kind of like balance out the leather scent so it just feels like a leather scent strong leather scent with just some hints of resins i have no clue where the apricot and plum is the pink pepper is not literally non-existent i can't smell it the osmanthus as well as like, i don't know i don't know where all these notes are it's literally your base notes, which is leather, olibanum, styrax, and fur balsam. So if you want a perfume to layer other perfumes with, to give that leathery kind of feel, but not be so strong leather, like the Anna Abiyad leather, which was so strong, you know, kind of was overpowering every other fragrance. This is not going to do that. This is going to give you that soft suede kind of scent, not like really leather leather. So I feel like it's definitely not worth $38. It's like... Even on a guy, like Ali would never just wear this fragrance. It smells like a brand new car. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a car. It's like you enter the, a brand new car, like a BMW or something. You know, and BMW, if you know the interiors, they smell a little different. If you enter a brand new BMW car, this smells like this. Kind of also smells like a G-Wagon. <laughs> okay, I'm just mentioning cars now. But yeah, if you like open the door and enter a G-Wagon, it's going to smell like this if it has leather interior. So it does smell very much like a car perfume like the leather car perfume if you know you know <laughs> guys please don't do that don't put that it's not attractive at all okay actually do what you feel like doing if you like it go ahead but it's just like for me like when people put like that leather perfume in their car I'm like your car always smells like leather why do you want to put more leather you know <laughs> so no no this is like a okay layering maybe i'll use it do i feel like the money was well spent not at all <laughs> like I, I i don't need this fragrance you know what i mean and First of all, it doesn't even smell like a fragrance. It just smells like a car perfume. It smells like your leather, you know, or the car leather. It is simply no for me. Um, I would give this a 4 out of 10. I mean, I literally do not like this perfume. I do not think it's worth it. Unless you have a lot of money and you need like layering fragrances and you want like a soft leather note, go for this one. This is like no day, no weather. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You, I know. Sometimes I hate it when I say that. But literally, it's like, where will you wear this? What do you want to do with this perfume? Like spray it in your car. Like I'll give it to Ali to spray in his car. <laughs> Although I don't like men spraying leather perfumes in their car. The one good thing about this perfume lasts a very long time. Projection is like two to three feet, but the longevity is eight plus hours. This perfume, it's not going to go away. This strip is going to go to the landfill. <laughs> it's going to still have the smell, you know. And it is like a super, super masculine fragrance. Like think of like leather. Think of literally G-Wagon or any other four wheel drive and you open the door and it's all leather inside how it would smell smells like that so yeah waste of money waste of time for me i'm not gonna go too much into this perfume because there's really nothing to say about this perfume like i don't know what to say it smells like leather oh wait this one also was sent to me okay so this was sent to me by paris corner um it's called Pasquin. i did not want to order this to be honest with you i did not order this although many people were speaking very highly of this perfume i was not attracted to this perfume one bit okay because i know i know me i was like no the bottle feels very nice and soft. It has this coating on it. I don't know what it is, but just like whenever I open this bottle, I'm like, oh my God, I just want to touch it. But I would literally just use this perfume for doing this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's the bottle. It's very pretty. The color is like very pretty and unique. And immediately you think this would be a peach bellini kind of scent, you know, like just look at the color, you know. And you know what? It's exactly that. Like, so your... Props to Paris Corner for this bottle because it's exactly how you imagine this perfume to smell like. Now, <laughs> smells like peach belly. <laughs> it literally smells like a cocktail juice. Like a cocktail juice that has mango, like blood orange, 
peach for sure because the peach is like super duper prominent in this. Let me tell you the notes first. So, okay. Top notes. Peach, <laughs> blood orange and cardamom. Sorry, I don't smell the cardamom. Middle notes of heliotrope, davana, cognac and jasmine. Base notes of sandalwood, benzoin, cashmere, vanilla, tonka bean, labdanum and patchouli. I swear, you can smell nothing but pineapple, peach, mango. It smells like those juices you get. I'm trying to think. I think it's Tropicana. Yeah, the Tropicana's uh, mixed fruit juice. Or it, they have like a tropical something. I forgot the name. I don't know if it is Ceres or it is Ceres or Ceres or whatever that juice thing. Or, or is it Tropicana? It's one of these, yeah. And it just smells like a cocktail. It just smells like, not cocktail, sorry, a cocktail juice. You know, it smells like a really uh, tropical cocktail. And there's nothing much I want to say again about this perfume. So this this review is going a bit weird right now because Raw Human was a disaster. And now this one is just smells like peach bellini. So in my opinion, like, yeah, a lot of people will like this perfume if you like smelling like this. I personally think it's very, very juvenile, like these kind of scents that are so predominantly fruity it's very like juicy like see my mouth is watering it's it smells very very juicy it smells very fresh it smells very cocktail fruity kind of thing if that's your vibe go for it it's a beautiful fragrance plus it's only 18 dollars like okay i bought it for 18 dollars so i need to like the website over here pariscona.ae that has it for 18 dollars i don't like it i really don't like it i mean i wouldn't use this as a car freshener or room fresh freshener or even a washroom freshener i do not like like such super tropical kind of smell I would love to drink that uh, drink something that smells like this. I am sure I would chug it down, you know, like super fast. And like it li literally makes me feel like I want to drink something that smells like this. But would I wear this? Never, never. Even if this was the last perfume on the planet. Sorry, sorry, Paris Corner. I know you were very generous and you sent this to me, but I can't wear this perfume. This is like a 4 out of 10. I would not give it lesser because I know some people will love this fragrance. I know many people love this fragrance. It's not listed. So I don't know how it, uh, what's the ranking or what people think about this. It's a very, very summer fragrance, tropical summer. Maybe you can wear it on vacations and stuff like that. Pool day or something. This is like what comes to mind. I would never wear this in an office situation or like even hanging out with my friends and stuff. I would not. Actually, you know what? Let me not say I would not because I would not wear this perfume regardless, right? But I'm assuming a person who would wear this would wear this to pool parties or like somewhere where it's very like happy, jovial, like like you're with your friends, having fun. Uh, you know, a lot of like uh, summer, where you, like literally where you go to cool down. The projection is like four to five feet. It's crazy projection and the longevity is like six to seven hours, which is not bad either for an $18, for an $18 perfume. This is when my mind thinks faster than my words come out of my mouth. My body is not like comprehending. <laughs> so no, like I, I can't even assign any celebrity to this because I don't know. Maybe like I would say like Miley Cyrus when she was like a child in like Disney or something. It's like literally gives me a child Disney kind of vibe, you know. So nah, -uh, this is not happening. <sighs> Finally, I'm in the last two, which is Hadlaj, okay, and I want to start with something good because I am tired now of like smelling perfumes that I'm not liking. This one is Lee Prestige Empress. So they have released a new collection called Lee Prestige. Lee Prestige has like, I think, four perfumes and she sent me Bushra. She sent me two, which were like suitable for women as well. Now, the thing is like this one, when I had smelled this in Beauty World Middle East, well, hadn't launched at that time they had like one bottle and i nearly dropped this bottle and oh my gosh that was like a scene and i have it recorded by the way because <laughs> i nearly dropped the only bottle they had of this as a sample and immediately i told bushra this is going to be a viral perfume i was like your next viral perfume next khadlaj viral perfume listen up carefully <laughs> it's going to be lee prestige empress okay it's a pretty bottle it has this Cuddlage, very art deco kind of thing going on there and then you have this bottle the uh i don't know i feel like this should have been called emerald or something like it looks like a very emerald and even the other one they have sent me that one is uh, lee prestige bold which is like the same sorry it's the same uh, box but it's red color and this one like it literally feels like you know ruby you know it, like doesn't it look like jewel tones and everything so yeah but this one empress let me tell you what it smells like the immediate vibe the immediate immediate vibe i got was oud for happiness by initio 
do not confuse this for oot for greatness or oot for glory no 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 oot for happiness by initio i'm gonna put a picture over here so that you know which one i'm talking about this so i do not like herbal notes i do not like green notes you guys already know how much i despise green notes herbal notes like if it's not done right which is very rare like getting it done right is very rare in my humble opinion again because i do not like that note but this guy oh my goodness before i say anything else 10 out of 10 okay 10 out of 10 this is my favorite herbal green scent ever and that's a big claim which is why i'm saying this perfume is going to go viral this is for 40 dollars not bad for the price as usual khadlach not listed on fragrantica i do not know many people who have reviewed this perfume so i don't know what people are going to think about this perfume but my opinion it's ginger you know initially you feel like that Mo moscow mule kind of uh, tone you know and then it starts getting like really really herbal let me tell you the notes so you can understand what's going on starts with ginger and bergamot and herbaceous notes literally that it's ginger uh, lemon bergamot and some herbal you know so you feel like it's like a drink you know like and i think it's moscow mule right i'm not sure uh, but it, it is like something that has ginger citruses and they have some garnish some herbal garnish and everything so 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 stunning the opening is like green ginger the middle notes like come in like very very slowly they creep in like very very slowly it has rose violet and jasmine now it's done in such a mild way like the moment i say rose jasmine and uh, violet you would think oh these seeming these are like really really powerful strong notes weirdly enough it's like probably one percent of the perfume i'm trying to paint a picture for you guys so think of ginger bergamot and herbaceous accord it's 95 percent of the perfume then your rose violet and jasmine is just one percent so there is nothing sweet in this perfume at all it's very gingery it's very very green and then you have the base notes of patchouli vetiver and cedarwood this comes in after 30 minutes or so in 30 minutes it starts drying down to this very earthy note so you have your ginger bergamot herbaceous note and then you have your uh very very earthy notes with like very very slight hints of those florals oh my god like i literally could not stop spraying this like i don't know if you can see i've already finished that much like you know it's a square bottle so that much like counts a lot the perfume is only that much you know so i finished like maybe like one tenth of the perfume and i've like recently received this this perfume for me is a dream it's a dream like you spray it it's nothing like you've smelled before it smells maybe a little bit like food like a preparation not like food but you know for me like maybe to some people it'll go in that direction that it smells a little bit like food but to me it doesn't smell like food it smells like a cocktail it smells like something the only thing that came to my mind was Mos moscow mule you know moscow mule moscow mule. why am i saying moscow as moscow okay whatever <laughs> uh it's a very earthy herbaceous citrus perfume and i love it this is going to make you feel cold like you feel like this this drink if it was a drink it would not be cold it would be chilled like chilled you know when you've like just shaken it in the uh thingy the whatever shaker <laughs> and then you pour it and you know how chilled it is like you know oh, it's like if you like smell this perfume once you're gonna get addicted to it it's so so pretty I can't wear this in spring. I'll wear this in summer. This is when you'll start feeling like really sticky and dirty. It's like really humid over here. By the way, today is 34 degrees. So suddenly everyone is getting sick because it was like the temperature was in the 20s and now suddenly the temperature is in its 30s, mid 30s, you know, so summer just suddenly just showed up over here. So yeah, this would be the right time to wear this when I go out because I would want to smell fresh and that herbal herbaceous like notes. Like it just smells like super 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 fresh like green freshness smells like a lot of herbs and then you've sprayed like uh, with the spray the water on it like when i smelled this perfume initially i was so like in shock like literally my eyes were watering because i was like you know this is what i like about a perfume journey like this is what i you know when you discover some perfumes that are like so different and they're so like 
you just like you know you get stunned for a little while i i call it the perfume coma you know you disappear into a different dimension altogether for a little while you just like are staying there like an idiot you know if somebody sees you you're like smelling the perfume and just like staring into thin air you know and this the middle eastern like vibe is like zero this is unisex uh, maybe some people will think it leans a little masculine in my opinion this is a perfectly unisex scent you can layer it, it with something sweet and this is another thing about this perfume the fact that it's so super green if you layer it with something fruity it will become like a green fruity fragrance if you layer this with something sweet it will become a sweet fragrance like i would want to add something sweet to this i feel maybe like a sensuous night or something by khadlaj or maybe like i'll add vanilla to this and see how it goes you know but i actually want to make a dedicated video of just layering things with this perfume it is crazy i love this fragrance plus projection is like a good 2 to 3 feet which is not bad if you spray like five sprays and the longevity is like forever it's like 7 to 8 hours for sure okay let me not like go ahead get ahead of myself because i need need to wear this in summer and see how because you know these kind of perfumes they evaporate pretty fast right but on me it was like there for like 7 to 8 hours i could still smell it on me listen to the celebrity thing i've put over here henry cavill physique with benedict cumberbatch grace and elegance you have got to be kidding me this is like hot hot love it now let me know not go like fan girling on that perfume the next one of course is from khadlaj again this is from the same collection le prestige this is called le prestige bold the box is like really really hard it's like it will not even if you press it it will not bend so it's good quality it opens like a lid you know not bad and the bottle is the same as the le uh, le prestige empress but this one is like the ruby color with the art deco thing going on over here it has the khadlaj k what does it smell like <sighs> again very unique fragrance but this one is not for me this is a very 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 masculine fragrance although i would classify it as unisex i would not wear it this smells to me like that new uh, jean paul gaultier like libo libo i'm not french so i don't know how to say that wait let me what did i put in my notes jean paul gaultier libo with a floral twist okay So this is a sweet tropical fragrance. The moment you smell it, smells a little tropical, smells a little creamy, but the creaminess is like a coconut creaminess, yeah. But it smells very aquatic at the same time. So yeah, it's like a very the proper thing to explain this would be this is a masculine tropical scent. The top notes for this are bergamot, coconut, and saffron. Middle notes of violet, jasmine, and dry wood, and the base notes of sandalwood, patchouli, and vanilla. So the perfume is definitely like quite sweet. The opening is very very beautiful. Although like I don't know in the background I feel like a hint a little bit of hint of apple. Which initially when I smelled it I was like dude it has that apple note and then when I read the notes I'm like there's no apple in this. So I don't know where it's how it's translating to this very mild apple note back in the background. So initially for the first 15 minutes I was not very happy. But it was a very interest interesting fragrance. So I was like let me see what happens because Although it's not listed, why am I getting the apple, right? So right in the beginning, it's a sweet coconut creamy fragrance. Try to stay with me because I know it's like the bergamot and saffron are barely there. They're downplaying their job. You know, they're not really like doing much about it. They're they're like in a kind of like a fruity way, which is why I'm getting that apple sweetness. So I just feel like there's some sweetness going on, which is smelling a little fruity. Now in about twenty to thirty minutes. This perfume completely changes, which is why I said this is like Jean Paul Gaultier Le Beau, but it is with a floral twist. Because in 30 minutes, let's say to be safe, in 30 minutes, the jasmine reveals itself and just takes over this perfume. But because it has that coconutty milkiness, it smells like a jasmine lotiony kind of scent. The whole combination of the sandalwood, the dry woods, the jasmine, and the coconut uh, uh, notes makes it smell like a very woody. slightly floral lotion a lotion that you would put like when you are on vacation and you want to smell like all coconutty and yummy and gourmand you know like oh you like delicious smells like that now you know what now i'm feeling like maybe if i go on vacation i would want to wear this because like <laughs> this is what like every time you smell perfumes you change your mind you know when i smelled it initially i was so hell bent on yeah it's unisex but this is like 100% for a dude you know but now when i'm smelling it i'm just like 
I can wear this. I can definitely wear this. If you're a man and if you don't like your aquatic sense to be sweet, then this is not for you. This is when it becomes a more bit more of a ladies kind of scent because I feel like although it's tropical and aquatic, it has like a lot of sweetness in the background. And I guess that comes because of vanilla and sandalwood as well, right? And the jasmine in here is not indolic. So it's not that strong jasmine. It smells like petals of jasmine sprinkled here and there. It's not like the entire flower and or like bushes and bushes of jasmine flowers. You know, it's not like that. It's like just petals around, you know, but mainly it's a very milky, coconutty, vanilla, woody scent. The dry down takes time, but oh my God, I also start feeling like, like there's some kind of tonka in this, although they've mentioned vanilla. But I don't know, I feel like there's this little bit of tonka thing going on as well. Because like a very little bit of almond thing is also coming in. Like, I don't know, it's not listed. But like, I don't know, I just that little bit of almond and tonka also I feel are there in the dry down. The dry down takes like a good 30 minutes to reach, yeah? So you need to be super, super patient. This perfume changes like crazy. Like from the beginning till the end, it's like almost like two different perfumes, right? No, oh, this is a spring, summer, holiday fragrance. Very, very beautiful. It's all day for me. But if, if only if it's like summer or spring, this would be more appropriate in summer, especially if you're going on vacation or if you're like uh, doing some activities by the beach or in the pool or so initially when I sprayed this, I was like, oh my God, apple and I was not very happy with it. 30 minutes down, I was like, wow, now it has been sitting for some time in my, uh, not very long, but maybe like a month with me. And now I just feel like it's like changing quite a bit and I feel like it's something I would wear. I'll be going on vacation soon and I'll be taking this with me for sure. It's very, very beautiful. No Middle Eastern vibe check. It is not Middle Eastern at all. I would say the uh, projection is like two to three feet. Uh, on the skin, it stays for the longest time because it literally feels like how lotion smell would sm feel like on your skin. It stays for a very long time, like seven to eight hours for sure. There's something about it which also feels like Jador kind of thing going on. I think that cuts that creamy lotion vibe, right? So maybe that's why I'm feeling a little bit, not like really, it's not duping Jador or something, but like it feels like Jador sort of DNA. And initially the celebrity I had put was Paul Rudd, <laughs> but now I'm like, no, I think it will be Charlie Theron or Charlie Theron. I don't know how to pronounce her name properly because I know everybody gets it wrong. And I think she was ambassador for Jador and that's why she came in my mind, right? I would rate this as an 8 out of 10 because I, okay, to be safe, I'm giving it 8 out of 10. I would love to give it more, but I want to experiment a little bit more with this one because it changed so much from the first initial um, impression I had about it. So I want to be safe and not like just say, go and buy it. It's like 9 or 10. I want to like thoroughly examine this one and get back to you. But yeah, if you're into like coconut creamy scent in love sandalwood, if you like like slightly like floral vacation kind of scents, this is for you. And at $40, it's not bad at all. So that's it for today, guys. This was um, not very long video, I hope, because <laughs> I feel like it was a short video. But then when I'm editing, I'm like, what just happened? Why is it like 40 minutes long? <laughs> I'm trying to keep my videos down to 30 minutes or less because it's easier for you guys to watch. It's easier for me to edit and film and everything, obviously, you know, so it's still Ramadan over here in UAE and uh, we are on our seventh day, if I'm not mistaken, today. So probably not should, should not be mentioning that because it depends on when I will like post this. But it's seventh of Ramadan today. So you guys will know when I actually film this video. If you guys have tried any of these fragrances, especially the raw human and Taskeen, let, let me know what you thought about it because I literally can't tolerate these two. So if you have a different opinion, if you feel like it changed or uh, your experience was a little better, just let me know and I will see what to do about these perfumes. Of course, I'm gonna still keep them for six months before I decide what to do with them. Maybe they'll change and everything and it'll surprise me, I hope it does. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and do let me know if you want me to review any other perfumes. I'm gonna try my best to add them, but I think I have almost finished all my hauls and all my PR, which was my main concern, like finishing all of them so that I can make compilation videos for you because I know you guys want me to give you my spring fragrances, summer fragrances and as usual I'm late to do that you know so finally after I've review reviewed all these perfumes I'll be able to give you like a more comprehensive proper list. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye!